everyone, Heather Mahalik here with another Tip Tuesday. This week, I want to clear up some misunderstandings that many have when it comes to timestamps associated with carved locations. In Physical Analyzer, you can carve for locations when you are loading the extraction in the case wizard, or you can do it after the fact, more on demand style by going to tools, get more data, and carve locations. When you carve for locations, what you're going to notice is when you're in locations, you will see this little pickaxe. That means it's carved. When you see a timestamp associated with a carved location, you need to understand what this means. It does not mean the device was in the location at that time. It also does not mean that the user searched for a location at that time or shared a location. This timestamp represents the last time that service saw that specific location. You must verify carved locations. So what I mean by this is if you're on a location of interest and you go over here to the right hand side, you will see the source file. For this specific one, this is cache encrypted B. As we look at some others, you will see that these source locations change. So you wanna make sure you're going through and if it's carved, that you are validating that artifact. Now, when it comes to understanding what you can trust, Ian Whiffen, Jared Barnhart, and I did an I Beg to Defer a few months ago on location artifacts, both iOS and Android that you can trust. We also created a cheat sheet that can be found on Celebrite's website. So if you go out to Celebrite Resources and you look at I Beg to Defer, you will find the location artifacts and you can download that cheat sheet. Please reference that and leverage it. It is extremely important that you understand locations you can trust and what timestamps mean so that you can put the truth behind the artifact. Oh, <laughs>